Hi there, this is Miss Kerr, and I'm going to be going over the Chem 6 notes, Changes in Matter. And your learning target for this is that you will be able to describe ways that matter can change. And we have already talked about physical and chemical properties quite a bit. And so um, this is how matter is changing, some ways that it can change. Um, so a change in matter that produces one or more new substances. So we're, something is changing into something new is a chemical change. And here are four really important uh, kinds of physical changes that ha or excuse me, chemical changes that can happen. And you're going to see these on your test. Um, so combustion, we you've probably heard of. Um, it's combining some sort of fuel with oxygen, and it produces heat and light, something like gas, oil, or coal um, are substances that um, are combustible substances, okay? Um, electrolysis is really important, and um, that's using electricity, so same root word here, um, and it breaks the compound into elements or simpler compounds. So for instance, water is broken into hydrogen and oxygen, so we can break down that compound into hydrogen and oxygen. Oxidation we've already talked about. The common name for that is rusting, and that um, happens when you have usually some sort of metal, some moisture in the air, and a combination of the oxygen in the air. And then tarnishing is a, just a little bit different than oxidation. Um, tarnishing usually happens to um, kind of more shiny metal and it's going to mix with the sulfur in the air and you're going to get a coating on the metal similar to rust but it's a it's definitely a different substance rust sometimes um, is a little bit rougher substance so go ahead and write all four of these things down on the example line even if you go off the line because those are going to be really important to know all right, physical change is a change that changes the appearance of matter but does not change it into another substance. And so here we see a Coke can and it has been smashed. Um, so we're changing the shape. Um, shape is a chem, uh, excuse me, a physical property of um, a substance or a um, object in which case like a soda can is an object right we're changing the shape um, we're crushing the can and so that's a physical change one physical change that really gets confusing is um, a state change so especially boiling that's one of the most common um, mistakes on a test is that boiling is a chemical change it is not um, boiling is just changing liquid water to water vapor, and a state change, we're not changing the substance. It's still water, it's still H2O, it's just changing from a liquid to a gas, and even though it's bubbling, it is still a state change, and so it is a physical change. All right, next up is endothermic change. Energy is taken in. So an example of that is uh, melting ice. All right, and you have on your notes, you have a little line for the stems. So endo here, um, this it means within, and therm means heat. So it's going to feel cold. Energy is taken in, um, the heat is within, and so it is going to feel cold. An ice pack, if we put that on a sore muscle or something like that, um, it is endothermic and we end up feeling cold um, from the cold pack. Exothermic is energy is released, and so exo means out and therm means heat. So you're going to feel hot when it's an exothermic reaction. So the hot hand warmers um, that you might put in your gloves or your boots in the wintertime, um, there are chemicals inside those that when you, um, you know, take the packet and you kind of um, um, 
manipulate it um, and move those chemicals and put them together, the hot hand warmer gets warm, um, and that's an exothermic change, um, exothermic reaction. Um, your candle, I know it's a little bit behind my picture here, but the candle um, flame is also going to be an exothermic reaction. All right, and then the last little sentence on your notes here is law of conservation of mass. We're going to talk a lot about this when we balance equations in your periodic table unit. But it states that matter cannot be created or destroyed. So what I always say is um, it's not, there's no magic, right? Something is not just... Um, all of a sudden it just appears or um, all of a sudden we just like wipe it out like that doesn't happen so um, what you start with the atoms that you start with um, have you also end with although they could change in some way shape or form so let's look at this example so we've got methane um, which has one carbon and four hydrogens and then we have two oxygen molecules and remember oxygen travels in pairs and so we have four total oxygen atoms right so they're applying some heat is what they're showing us here and so it yields carbon dioxide and water and carbon dioxide is one carbon two oxygens two water molecules is going to be two H2Os, right, two Mickey Mouse, right? So if we look at this equation, they are not the same things in the beginning and the end. These are the reactants and these are the products at the end. Um, they are not the same substances. However, we do have the same amount of atoms of each. So um, let's just take a quick look. So we have one carbon, one carbon, right? We start with four hydrogen, we end with four hydrogen, and I know one is behind my picture here. So one, two, three, four. And we start with four oxygen, and we end with four oxygen. One, two, three, four. So nothing is lost, nothing just randomly appears either. All right, this is the concept map on the front of your packet. So if you look at the front of your intro to chem packet, you always start with this, whatever the bold word is. So we are talking about matter here. So this is kind of a general sort of review, which is good because this is the last note page. So if we follow it down, um, matter is classified as substances and mixtures. And then going this way, Substances include elements and compounds. Elements are made of atoms which chemically combine to form molecules. Right there. So you kind of make sentences out of here, right? Mixtures include heterogeneous mixtures, homogeneous mixtures. And homogeneous mixtures include solutions. Heterogeneous mixtures have different parts. You can see the different parts. Homogeneous mixtures, it looks the same throughout. We can't tell the difference. All right, so moving back from matter, but going to the left here. Matter is characterized by physical and chemi chemical properties. A, an example of a chemical property is flammability. Physical properties, some examples are density and state. So what I mean by state is states of matter, so solid, liquid, or gas. Density is determined by mass and volume. You actually divide here, mass divided by volume. Mass is going to be in grams, and volume is either in milliliters or cubic centimeters. Those are equivalent to each other. We just write them um, differently depending on if it's a solid or a liquid typically. All right, matter undergoes physical and chemical changes. That's what we talked about today in today's notes. Physical changes are things like changes in state. And I told you that's the one that always gets confused, right? Changes of state, evaporation, condensation, um, vaporization, including boiling, all of those are gonna be changes in state and so they're physical changes. Whereas chemical changes, one you do need to know for your test is electrolysis, right, that we went over. 
These changes always include changes in energy. And energy is given off is exothermic. Energy that is absorbed is, and, you know, something like an ice cube absorbs heat and so it starts to melt. That's going to be an endothermic reaction. All right, that is it. If you need to pause and go back to fill that in, please do so. Thanks.